Hello world, this is Shiraj. Welcome to this channel. This is the next video in the playlist of Moodle Elements Training for Students. We discussed how we can submit an assignment in the last video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can attend the MCQ quiz. So let's get started. I'm going to open the web browser. I already logged in. And here you can see the my courses. I'm going to attend the MCQ quiz under this uh, computer literacy and application course. So we click on this course and we'll open the course page. Here you can see the sections. Now we are in the lecture week nine. I'm going to click on this lecture week nine and we can see the quiz details. Yes, here we have quiz one and the details of this quiz. This quiz is having questions from the areas of Windows 10 and Microsoft Word 2019. A candidate can go for two attempts maximum and the highest marks will be taken to the grade book. So this message is given by the lecturer. So I'm going to open the quiz. So we click on this quiz one. And we can get this page, quiz one and the same message. Here you can see the details of this quiz. Attempts allowed two, so you can go for maximum two attempts. And here we have the opening date of this quiz and closing date and times. Here we have the time limit, 15 minutes. So you have to complete the questions within this 15 minutes. And finally, we have grading method, highest grade. It means uh, since we have two attempts, uh, the highest marks will be graded. If you have uh, 4.5 and 4.8, and 4.8 will be treated or entertained by your lecturer. So let's attempt the quiz. To attempt the quiz, here we have the button, attempt quiz now. You have to click here to attempt the quiz. So I'm going to click here, and here we have the message, time quiz. So some quiz may have some time limitations. Some quiz may not have time limitation. So here we have the time quiz. This quiz has a time limit of 15 minutes. The time will count down from the moment you start your attempt, and you must submit before it expires. Are you sure that you wish to start now? Yes, we are sure. And we'll click on this start attempt to attempt the quiz. Here we have the question and the choices. On the left side, we have the question number one. On the right side, we can see all the questions. Here we have uh, 25 questions. Here we can see the timer. Here we have the questions and you can choose your answer. Here I'm going to select this answer. And if you want to clear your choice, you can click here to clear the answers and you can recheck. To go for the next questions, you can click on this next page to get a next question. And now we are in the question number two and you can answer the question. When you're going to face the last question, we can see this button, finish attempt. Then once you complete all these questions or once you satisfy all of your answers for these 25 questions, you can click on this finish attempt. Or you can review any question. For example, if I want to review any questions in this uh, 25 questions, you can click on the question number. Then we can reach the question number 10. Then we can do the alteration here. Then the, here you can navigate the question number. You can click on the number 14. Then you can review the question number 14. Then we can change the answers if you wish. Now I have completed all my questions and satisfied with the answers. So we'll click on this finish atom. Here you can see the question ID and the status answer saved. So you can make sure that you have saved all of your answers. And here we have the button return to atom. So if you want to go back to your questions, then you can click on this button, then you can go for the atom. Then you can click on this finish atom. Then you can come back again. Then here we can see the timer. And here we have the message, this atom must be submitted by Sunday 17 May 2020, 
9.55 p.m. So you have to complete the question before this date and time. So I'm going to click on this submit all and finish button. And here we have the confirmation. Once you submit, you will no longer be able to change your answer for this setup. So we'll confirm here, submit all and finish. Now done. Here we have started on. So this is the date and time that I have started my quiz and state finished. We completed the quiz, completed on the completion time and date and the time taken 14 minutes and 32 seconds and marks 20 out of 25. So grade is given as four out of five. And the right side, you can see the question navigation. Here you can see two colors, red and green. Red is incorrect answer and the green is a correct answer. So here we have 25 out of 25, we can see five incorrect answers. And the first question is incorrect. Here we have the question and the answers that we have checked in. And here we have the right answers. Like that, we can review each question. Here you can see the question number eight also incorrect. So we click here to reach question number eight. So here we have the question ID eight then the question, then the answers that we made and the right answer. And you can use this uh, scroll bar to go up and you can review the questions. Once you complete this, you can go back to your course page. Here we have the navigation bar. I'm going to click on this one, two, zero, two, three, CLA to go back to my previous page. The right side, you can see the blocks here. You can see upcoming events. Here also, you can see the notification of your quiz. Here, I'm going to click on this uh, lecture week nine again to reach the quiz. Here we have the quiz one. I'm going to click again. Here, you can see the summary of your previous attempts. Here, the attempt one complete and out of 25, we earn 20. The grade is given four. So if you want to review again, you can click and you can go back to the previous review page. Or if you want to go for a, another atom, you can click on this re atom quiz. Here I'm going to click on this re atom quiz to go for a next atom. Here you can see the same message and we click on start atom. Here we can see the timer and we can monitor the time and we can work out here. Here we may get a different question and answers. So if we have more items, the question will be shuffled from the question bank. For example, there may be 100 questions from chapter one and you may get five questions out of 100. Like that, the question will be shuffled again and again once you get new items. In some quiz, you will get only one item. In some other quiz, you will get more items. That depends on the teachers or the lecturer. That's fine. Now you can see the summary of atom and you can see all answers are saved and you can click here to return to atom like that. You can review the questions the right side and once you complete, you can come down and you can click on this submit all and finish. Here we have the confirmation. We click here to confirm. Yes, now we can see all the answers are correct. Here the grade is given out of five five marks and marks 25 out of 25 and here we can see all the answers and you can go up and you can see the navigation bar and I'm going to click on this ISO 12023CLA to reach the course page. The right side you can see upcoming events in the blocks. Here we have quiz one. I'm going to click here and you can get this data box and here we have a go to activity. We'll click here to access quiz. Here we have a summary of previous items. Here now I can see two atom. The first atom 20 and the second atom is 25. Like that you can see your grade. Here I'm going to click on this back to course to go back to my course page. That's all I want to discuss in this video. In the next video we will discuss more interesting steps. Thank you very much students. We'll meet in the next video.